back into the 14 A Sports Radio Show. So we confirmed that Mike Tarico is Italian, right? Correct? <laughs> no, we didn't. We yes, didn't. we did. He said, I don't have any African Americans in my family. My yeah. whole family is Italian. Doesn't mean he wasn't adopted. <laughs> it wasn't adopted. He would have said he was adopted. <laughs> But he didn't. I know he looks black, but he said he's not black. Maybe if we um we could tweet at ESPN and just say we gotta we gotta we gotta get to the bottom. is <laughs> on Twitter. I mean, we can ask yeah, Monday Night Football. Hey, yeah. uh, Mike, just just wondered. Ask, ask Gruden. He, ask yeah, well, you see well, him. Nice. You see Tariq on a shower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not nice. Oh boy. All right. So uh, coming up this weekend, we finally got the NFL playoffs. And after a uh, long, long NFL season, you know, uh, I'm sad to see it come to an end. You know, it's always bittersweet. Nah, it's always right? tough. I mean, the, you know, the Giants, you know, obviously made the year a little longer. Right. Um, you know, being a season ticket holder, I was at the game on Sunday. In the, the, strong. The, the lovely uh, Now, let me ask you, were you ready stadium? to shoot yourself in the face oh, for being God. a Giant fan being there? It was terrible. I, I had, I've had tickets probably since about 2008. Uh-huh. And I've had these ponchos in my trunk for since then, <laughs> and that was the first game I really? had to bust them out, and it was just miserable. I love a good poncho. Not a lot of people do. I mean, and never mind. It was I mean the boring game. Like you know, the Giants moved the ball a little, but then you know by the start of the second half they had Curtis Painter play in. Yeah. Uh, you know, half the you know half the guys were going down. Knicks went out of that game. I think Tuck went out. You know, and it was just like oh god, just ended already. <laughs> and the Redskins looked. Abysmal. I mean, Kirk Cousins for all the all the talk about him being a yeah a legit oh, was, starting quarterback. He really uh, dropped his stock value. I'll tell you what. Thank God for fantasy because you know the Giants are out of it week seventeen, and I, the week seventeen games are great. But yeah. if you there's no fantasy, you know I didn't gamble on any of the games, so I had really no vested interest. So you're kind of watching it. Pa- it's a passive rooting, which isn't as yeah, much fun as when you have something just like, invested. Uh, you know what I mean? You know, I, if there was no such thing as fantasy, I, you know, I think, and I think that's why the NFL is huge anyway. But you'd have to gamble on games. You'd have to, <laughs> yeah, you know, especially when choice. your team's bad. It's just like you just got to give yourself something to be like, exactly. Yeah, enter a weekly to. pool. That's always fun. So, yeah, yeah, well, that's gambling. Okay, pool, I mean, whatever. Yeah. You got to. You made a hard case, Sean. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, we got the picks here that we do. You know, that always keeps you a little more. Yeah. But, but uh, it's yeah. only a beer. <laughs> it's, not, it's not life and death. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure the uh, the Packer bar was going nuts. You know, like you oh, said, man. that you was know, great. That was be... you picked a great game to. to uh, oh oh to yeah, to go right? to. Yeah, I mean, it seemed like they had a good crowd too. I mean, like yeah. I saw like, like uh, post on Instagram about like probably twenty, at least twenty five guys yeah. in Packer gear. Real? I was gonna ask how many guys about twenty. Yeah, about twenty uh, twenty five. Because um, a couple stopped down the rock afterwards, and you know, at least like five or ten just from there. Yeah, you had um, old men. You had old uh, men. Bob you had Bob some. You had a good mix. Some yeah. ladies. Oh, that's cool. There's yeah. like Angel cool. Kilmer, uh, yeah. Dana Drowski, Joe White. All those girls are all big Packers nice. fans, so I think nice. they were all down there. So yeah, and then you had like you're also non Green Bay fans sitting at the other end of the bar. He bit a lot of gambling going on there. It's oh, funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah oh, just nice. you know talking Little to the guys. Uh, I had the fragging Packers or Bears or whatever. I mean, but yeah, I mean, it comes down to the fourth and eight. You got to make the first down to, to keep the game alive. How do you let Real the Cloud get that? Incredible. Open? Incredible. That was, I mean, that, that I, they, they blitzed seven. And so everything was man to man in the back. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the one guy just must have, you know, beat. got the wrong, yeah, yeah, took the wrong assignment yeah. on the route. And I think Randall Cobb, I don't know if it was a, like a, a breakout play where he just saw that he was open because he put the hand up okay. so, and yeah. just ran long. I don't know if he was supposed to do a different route, broke it off. Right, and right, then right. Kuhn made that block on, uh, that was, on, Pe- on yeah. Peppers. Oh, that was a great block. And great that block. saved the, otherwise, I mean, Peppers would have had yeah, Rodgers and yeah. the game would have been over. Well, how about the, uh, the Peppers play? Peppers gets the strip sack. Everyone thinks it could play pass. Ball just oh, lying on the field. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Boykin. my God. Boykin grabs that was it. terrible. Oh, yeah, too, and, and, and runs it in. That was and, horrendous. Yeah, I saw like, that, that play happening, and I'm play. like... It was a weird play. Absolutely weird. How about also... Like call, though. How about also speaking about the big news about Aaron Rodgers this week? Oh, uh, yeah, he, about him... Uh, what? Is he gay? Addressing his sexuality. I, I mean, this yes. came out of left field. You know, you got the, uh, you got the, the game that goes... Oh, yeah, you didn't know about this? Well, he's going to San Francisco. Uh, so it's a <laughs> oh, no, San Francisco is coming to him. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> so, meeting up with some old friends. Now you got... Now he's you got catching and not pitching. The, <laughs> the huge game on Sunday, and then all of a sudden it comes out Monday morning that this guy's yeah, ready ready to like ready to out uh, Rodgers as the, the gay NFL player that was all ready to come out. But I mean, he. I mean, he. They basically. De- I mean, denied that. I mean, I, you well, know, I mean, it's, it's... let's let's hear his denial. 
I really, really like women. <laughs> That's what he said? Yeah. yeah. There's no way I you can that. sound straight saying that. I really, really yeah, like women. I don't women. know what the, the rumors were about. I mean, the, I, you know what? Actually, I read it. So what happened was, so Rogers has like a personal assistant. Right. That's his roommate. <laughs> That uh-huh. you know, <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. I never had a personal after, after, assistant. After, after Green Bay won the Super Bowl, he was the first guy. Like he went and like you know hugged or embraced right. or whatever. But so this guy's on Twitter making kind of vague general statements about a relationship. Kind With of, a, uh, didn't, another didn't person. Say, no, no, no. Didn't reference that, but but. They said the only thing he tweets about is Aaron Rodgers, the Packers, and Justin Bieber. So I don't, unless he's in a relationship with Justin now, Bieber. Now, I trolled this guy's Twitter. I went on there, and he did have a, a tweet on there about, oh, this would be the perfect dream girl for me. So that's something Recently? that's out there. Recently? Uh, so maybe it's just a bromance. October, you know. Who cares? What Would it change? I don't like Aaron Rodgers either now, way. I tell you what, and then I went, I don't, I went and looked on the, straight, on the, on the Twitter. I, I looked at it, and there was nothing about Aaron Rodgers, nothing about the Packers. So I think he deleted a couple. You know, Maybe somebody, one of Aaron Rodgers' people got in there and deleted a couple. No pun intended. Got in there. So, so I'm serious. Uh, would that change? Would, 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 who ca- Dude, would you care? Uh, yeah, you're right. Like I'm not a Packers fan, but like I've been. Wait, what I, would it matter? If you're I've been. Well, yeah, no, I've been I mean, talking yeah, to Oates I mean, about it, and she's like devastated. She's like, uh, oh why? no, oh no, uh, this can't like be a true. Heart throb of, of him, oh yeah, you know, hers oh. to be like. So he, she's gonna dump you no, and go get Rodgers. <laughs> basically, <laughs> that was her dream. Basically, when the lights are out, you know, Aaron Rodgers is the one she's thinking about. <laughs> you, have a, you have Aaron Rodgers fan. <laughs> Well, I mean, I don't know why I have I to keep wearing this... a green number twelve jersey on. <laughs> Rogers has always <laughs> Rogers has always been a weird guy to me because I mean, he won the Super Bowl, but then you know Driver and Jennings lead the team and they kind of kind of talk bad about yeah. him. But then you know it seems the like everybody Braun in their thing, lock, right? The whole Ryan yeah. Braun when he defended being, him, like, really being a jerk. Ryan Braun gay now too. Yeah, I, I, oh, I, you said it. I don't know. <laughs> But then I, I was also texting with you guys before about um, Deadspin came out with the article about the Houston didn't... Oilers. Uh, oh, yeah. And it's probably one of those football lives that they do on the NFL Network right. where they kind of just question, you know, they you know, the guys just talk about that season or whatever, the, the, the 93 Oilers. That was a team that um, Buddy Ryan punched Kevin, Kevin Gilbride yeah, yeah, in the face. Yeah. So I'm sure they had a lot to that talk was, about. That was when they came or they gave up that huge lead, right? Yeah. yeah. They, yeah that, they, that, they have an NFL though. Network yeah, special yeah. about them. I mean, they were totally dysfunctional. So, oh, I mean, they basically said two guys on the team were basically openly gay and, and yeah. nobody nobody really cared about it. They didn't, they didn't name the guys, but they right, basically right. said, you know, we all knew, but, you know, when it came to game day, there's nobody else you want to go to war with. So Well, interestingly, I heard that uh, Lombardi, back in those Packers teams, they had two guys. That, he was gay? No, not Lombardi. <laughs> but they, no, they were two guys. <laughs> They re- they named the rest stop after him. <laughs> no, they named but- NFL trophy after him <laughs> and a rest stop. <laughs> but no, they said everybody knows that's where high homosexual were- activity happens. <laughs> Wide stands. Wide stands. I was just going to the bathroom. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. What, they have what? the best glory no, hole was- in New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You watch it too much porn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right, but no. we're off track. So, long story short, there were two guys on the Packers that they knew were gay, and Lombardi said, "You know, said no one messed with them." Yeah. You know, so yeah, no, I mean, it wouldn't change anything. Yeah. Now it's funny, you know, you've had a lot of movies about fictional uh, or TV shows with the NFL player being gay and what, coming when? out. Uh, you've had there's a show what? called Un- or Necessary Roughness on USA. The, the st- that's actually how they left off the last season, where the court, the star quarterback claimed oh. that he was gay after oh, a big playoff win. Oh, yeah. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you had there was another movie where an NFL quarterback was gay. Uh, Shane Falco was gay. <laughs> Shane Falco was <laughs> he, not gay. He begged that hot. Ch- she's all, she was where, hot. Where did she go? She was hot. She was great. What's her I name? Loved her. The, I don't know. The, the, Cheerleader from the replacements. Yeah, she's smoking. We need to know who, who's that lady on whoever she is. Yeah, we got, on right, we'll sports. make that happen. My favorite of those cheerleaders from the replacements was the, the one who, uh, with the death guy, who she was like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of TV, uh, did you see the top ten chicks 
Yes, you did. We had that What'd there. You think? I loved think? it. You know, one A and one B. Oh Olivia God. Munn, Blake Lively. You know I what? Those two. I women. didn't. I didn't put in a thing, but actually, what puts Olivia Munn over the top of me? Do you ever see those pictures she sent to some guy? Oh yeah, they with, got like, out. She like, like wrote, yeah, she like wrote on them like this. This lingerie's for you. No, you know, I never this saw ass these. is only for you. Like things like that. It's great. She was really going in. Yeah. Instead of Mike Tarico, we'll look up. To <laughs> the, <laughs> the lucky recipient of those photos. My God. Yeah, no, this ass is for you. It's like this bud's for amongst you. other things. Yeah, Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I like I like the I, wow. I checked it out really quick. It was it was tough uh, seeing on the website some of the pictures of the girls, but uh, oh, Kristen really? Keurig was a was a big fan of mine on Smallville. You didn't you pick her one time when we were talking about chicks? Oh, like, it might have been sneaky. like uh, sneaky like hockey. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, actually right. not a big fan of her. I was kind of wondering what the hell she was doing on that list. We'll look at it real quick. Well, uh, we'll get we'll get to the playoffs in the I next was just segment. Just gonna say, we gonna leave no, 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 we'll we'll get Are to we that. Now we're just, just breaking off. We're just breaking <laughs> yeah. off. Yeah, we're just calling an audible. I tell you what, Janet. Kramer. Well, oh, how about how about uh, oh Janet? Oh, Janet. Kramer. I love her. She's unbelievable. So much. You know, I'm pissed because I, I took Oates to the Blake Shelton concert uh, back in September at PNC, and she opened up. I had no idea about this until we even got in the door. They're like, oh, why, why are you pissed? Janet Kramer, because I would have went backstage and tried to said hello or something. What? Yeah. How did oh, you get shit. backstage? Listen, man, I, I didn't have the 15 MOFE pass <laughs> on me, but all I had to do was get Ra on the phone, and we would have uh, been right he there. Got, he got hooks in the country. Yeah, man. <laughs> Listen, this isn't like a rap. Ain't no con- battle rap. This isn't like a rap concert where they're not going to let you backstage. These country folks are friendly people, man. You're just making that up. Not, right? of course, yeah, yeah definitely. Right. Naya Rivera there at number ten. Nice I body. Love, I like her a lot. Never watched Glee, but oh, who is this? Katie Cassidy. Yeah, she. You know where I she's never from? Even heard okay, of Arrow. you know where she's from? Did you ever see the movie Taken? Yes. Yeah, With is the she girl? the other girl? She's the blonde-headed one. Yeah, she's the uh, other girl. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's I got some in trouble. No, that's, yeah, that's she, how they she's meet up flirting. With the, uh... She want you know, she's a little hula, little Ooh. little hula <laughs> with the Italians, little hula. Hello, Katie Cassidy. <laughs> taken true story. <laughs> <laughs> it could happen. <laughs> I've got Taken Two waiting on the DVR. Oh, I watched it. Is it good? I, you know what? Here's with Taken Two. The same movie, just run it back again. <laughs> yeah. No, Taken Two. You, you just your daughter just got abducted in France, right? Uh, two years later, you go to Istanbul with the whole family. Yeah, like, yeah. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, doesn't make you got to keep on living your life, Michael. Would you ever go to Istanbul? <laughs> you know that's in Turkey, right? Yeah. yeah. I love Turkey. I've been to Turkey. Actually. I love Thanksgiving. Have you? Yeah, we went on a, a, a trip, a uh, cruise around Greece, and it was one of the really? islands they stopped in. We went oh, to like awesome. the, uh, the the bazaar down there, like the markets, or whatever. Right, right. That's crazy. Yeah. Those guys are racing the shit out of you. Oh, the, the other people walking down the street, they're like, "Hey, buddy, but out, but out, Oh yeah. Oh, fuck, and it's all like um, you know, the the fake Burberry shirts, like you know, oh, right, five right, bucks. Right, it's right. all like you know the knockoff stuff. Yeah, yeah. Got two more winners on here: Nina Dobrev, Vampire oh, Diaries, Vampire Diaries. very hot. Uh, oh, if, if you don't have no idea so. what we're talking about, go to fourteen sports. Meghan Markle's a good one. I like log her. on on suits. suits. Log no, on right. to That's your internet you provider. Oh yeah, I, I, Megan suits. Markle's yeah. a smoke show. Uh, look at this picture here in the middle. Like I was saying, if you don't if you don't know what we're going on with here, fourteen uh, sports dot com. Uh, third article down, top ten hottest women on TV, put together by this guy, Matthew Mulhern. You know, some, some of the shows are done, but I mean, it's all right. Katrina, Where are they? Which one? Well, Smallville, I don't think, is running anymore. Oh. And 30 Rock, I think, is done. 30 Rock's done. But Blake I knew 30 Lively. Rock was done, but I didn't care. You know who should be on here? Uh, yeah. I don't even know her name, but she's Which on uh, Community. Talk. You could pick either one of the two girls on from Community. I, I never watched it. It's on NBC. I name me Paul. Great show. What? So you watch fucking the, the Vampire Diaries? <laughs> <laughs> it's on my DVR. <laughs> and Gossip Girls. Oh, man. Like, how about, the, you know who I was, I, uh, you know, to give it, like, if, if we, oh, here. Did you have honorable we, mentions? It, did you have honorable mentions? Yeah, but this, we should this, do some How about, if, if the list had a Rooney rule, where you have to include <laughs> a minority oh, yeah. candidate, how <laughs> <laughs> How about Kerry Kerry Washington from Scandal? All right. Oh yeah, the yeah, black yeah. chick. She's got monster I, I almost put, yeah, I She's married to Namdi yeah. Asamoah. Namdi. No. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know. That's why he sucks nowadays, man. Well, yeah. He's, he's like exactly. dreaming about those big those old lips. lips. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Those DSL. Yeah, there's don't a have. couple other people I'd have on here. I, my favorite, uh, Julie Bowden from uh, or oh, Bowen. Julie oh, Bowen from, from uh, uh, Modern Family. I oh, and her. Sophia Vergara. 
those, yeah, those yeah. are those are yeah. Those Big are fan. definitely on the. Uh, maybe if you went like. Nope. And then there was uh, the one chick from uh, Friday Night Lights was pretty hot. She was in the GI Joe movie actually. The, oh yeah, you know, uh, uh, Adrian Paco some Paco. She was something hot. Like that. Yeah, Paco. Friday Night Lights. And even the other chi- the, uh, the the main cheerleader that yeah. that was uh, the cheaters girl. Yeah, G- uh, uh, Mika Kelly. Mika Kelly, yeah, she was another good one. Yeah, girl. And 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 Coach Taylor's daughter is hot in that. Amy T. Gordon is her name. Uh yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. No, Friday Night Lights is no, a show. I gotta go. No, oh, I gotta get on awesome. the. Uh, I gotta get that on the DVR list. The Friday Night Lights. Yeah, oh, I gotta get back show. on that. Yeah, I mean, I was on movie. You know, well, yeah, no, I, I was watching Netflix Varsity Blues like the other night. Oh. Well, yeah, I mean, the, you know, Paul Walker. Shout out to Paul Walker. Big ups. up in the sky. Who's the chick in that? I could picture, but uh, uh, Vanessa Ali, Shaw, Ali Larder. Oh no, yeah, you're and right. Then, uh, the whipped cream bikini. And then the girlfriend you is have uh, the ice cream sundae. I'm how gonna... how are you, James? Is James there to be gay? Got to be you, gay. You whipped cream bikini. Star quarterback, <laughs> gay. <laughs> Throw the gay. towel over that. Get out of town. And he and he That's went ridiculous. with a, an undeveloped Amy Smart at the time. I mean, obviously he's not the one writing the movie, but come on, man. Nah, you know, I guess you know. You know, he speaks, probably broke to, off that whipped cream bikini. It speaks to Vanderbeek's character of the movie. You know, he's Lance's boy. That's why he couldn't do it. <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back into the 14 Ace Sports Radio Show. Yeah. Uh, my, my bitch looking like a half a mil. I love that song. Who's that song by? You were doing a little dance. Do a, do the dance. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a like, heavy, it's a heavy he's, Manziel show. No, he's he's combining his the birdie, birdie with, with the man. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's what I saw going on. Bernie, Bernie Manziel. Oh, Worlds like are colliding. Gotta Walsh is two moves. I think the next Roll wedding you're at, one. you gotta you gotta bust that. Bernie thing Manziel? Out. Bernie Manziel. <laughs> that might be the new one. I swear to God, if any of you fucking battle rappers take that shit, I'm gonna <laughs> fuck you up. I you know, I'm run I'm, your pockets. <laughs> like like wedding dancing or you know, I'm known for uh having loose elbows. Uh, my elbows <laughs> fly around. So well, you're a heavy a, you component guy. Huh? You're a heavy a you or it depends on it's a scenario. But I, I get a lot of I'm you know a little so I had bang, a bang. I had a da- I had a dance with elbows in last <laughs> <laughs> elbows in couldn't be whacking people around on the New Year's <laughs> black eye yeah, you don't want to you don't give out concussions for the New yeah, Year's nah, we uh, we have some breaking news into the four uh, to the fourteen A sports news desk. Uh, the Buccaneers have just hired Lovey Smith as their new head coach. Uh, so we talked about uh, that a little. Can we get some applause on that one? I know. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, Walsh is excited about that. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you know, obviously a, a coach that's been there, you know, that, that knows what he's doing, you know, right. veteran guy. I mean, I, I don't see how you go bad there. Lovey deserves another shot. I'm telling you, the only the only concern I would have, you know, he'll, I, I agree with you, Nibs. He'll figure out how to use Revis the right way, but offensively. I'd be concerned with that. You have a young quarterback that needs to be groomed and developed. Um, Lovey, Lovey hasn't done that yet. Uh, so I, I'd be, you know, who they bring as offensive like, coordinator, yeah, they have, you know, is very important. Kind of like, you know, Lovey they, taking Even defense. if they think Glennon's the guy, I mean, they... Yeah, they excellent point. Excellent point. Yeah, they might take another quarterback. But either way, you know, there's no there's no starting quarterback on that roster, right? Or, or no sure thing quarterback on that roster. They need some development, so... That'd be the only thing I'd be concerned about if I'm a Tampa guy. All right. Well, as uh, we just put out there on social media, it is time to rip everyone's New Year's resolutions. <laughs> so, how about, dude, why why are you so angry? You're like, yeah, an, you're you like an angry black man. This is my <laughs> New Year's resolution. I'm trying to be more of an angry guy. I feel yeah. like I've been too nice. I didn't see the, the State of the Union you, address well, on 14 Oh, yeah. yeah. I read the State of the Union. I go, why is this kid pissed off? Oh, like, yeah, man. Ch- chill out, brother. What nah, happened? Man. Somebody picking your Cheerios? No, no. I've been going Rice Krispie lately. No, nah, no. Nah. Nothing like that. She wouldn't piss on anything of mine. <laughs> that you great, know of. That's a great relationship. <laughs> About time. Finally got into one where I was like, getting oh, pissed on. No golden showers. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I, basically basically what we're going to do on here. We're, I like how we just ignored that. Yeah, just, just I didn't even hear it. you. <laughs> oh, no golden showers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that in 2014. It's like you see like somebody puke up on the floor. You just put the, the, the newspaper over. You're just uh, like, I'll just leave that there for later. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's move it on down here. Let's let's try to find some resolutions that uh, well, my, that we really don't like. My biggest one was uh, always people being like, I, I mentioned this earlier before when we were talking about, like, oh, I can't wait for 2013 to be over. I'm ready for this crappy year to be done. Bring right. on 2014. 
Oh, yeah, what's going to change 2014 then? That was different than 2013. Just because the calendar moved a little doesn't yeah, mean your shitty I mean, luck will. I guess bad luck happens, but it's like... Yeah, right, it's I mean, an it's... arbitrary start and end point. Like, it really is meaningless. Yeah, it could be scheme. six months from now that could be the new year. I can't wait for the month of April... 13th to be over. You know, it's like, you know, it doesn't make it, it makes no sense. But I guess, I guess people look at, you know, every, you know, start the new year or whatever, you know, blah, 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 all that, all that high and holy stuff. Yeah. You know what? I have no problem with people making New Year's resolutions. You want to, you want to, you want to revolt? No, no, I don't need to know about them. (laughs) No, I don't care. I don't care what you resolve to do. If you're going to do it, then that's fine. Go do it. But what are you telling me about it for? I don't care. Yeah, you know, no, it's like you well, want to go to the, the gym, society. you want to lose weight, you want to save more money. I would, go ahead, <laughs> yeah. all right. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> you got to put it on Facebook in order. That's to why do it. I don't make resolutions because probably if I ever do twenty five, you know, probably a hundred percent of the time, I probably don't keep to them. So right. like, I'm like, yeah. well, I'm not going to do anything that I'm just going to like drop in two weeks and be like, ah, eff it. Ra's lucky he got us under contract. I don't, you know, <laughs> shit. Uh, how the hell are we going to... What are you talking about? You say resolu- <laughs> I, none of us are really resolution kind of guys, you know? What is it? <laughs> well, did I, don't you know get where, I don't know where he's <laughs> going from there. Because you say we're going to do something? No? Oh, like you mean the, the, the fact one that thing. we had to like, we're uh, doing the radio show that we uh, like... <laughs> Is that you being angry? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. The one thing that I, I'm going to do, and actually I already started doing it, uh, I'm going to blog more. Um, yeah, I think actually, I should. I, I feel like I should start. Uh, that's one thing. And I don't consider it a resolution. Oh it's it's something that I want to just do. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I guess resolutions are usually, is it giving up stuff or doing stuff? I don't know. It could it's, be. Well, this isn't Lent, but, you know, you could do whatever the hell you want. Why did they ever start? Whoever started this? You know what? That crap. is good. I'm going to be, be angrier. I'm going to be angrier this year. Maybe I should be nicer. Oh. No. <laughs> wow. Our show I, said that, I said maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Just, like, slide some of the that'll anger be a, over from That'll be a total here. reversal of roles. I'm going to get angry, <laughs> and you're really? going to be nicer? <laughs> yeah. It's like when That's... Kramer went went into Jerry's apartment. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what it's like in there. Ne- oh, I'm stressed. Next week, next week we got Molly over on this side. <laughs> and you're just like, listen, you bass knob. I still like Miller Light, all right? Uh, you know what it is. Calling up the predictor about uh about the, the Buffalo, Buffalo Bills. Bills. Get out of town. I should have uh, prepared earlier for this because I'm looking down the news feeds and. I guess all this shit was from yesterday. No, it's a lot of generic stuff. I'm going to the gym. You know, I'm going to... Going to get in shape. Uh, yeah. Going to go on a diet. Well, right. Spank- lose weight's like always a big one. Spanky had one that uh, I want to rip. If you go to, like... If you ever go to the gym, like, tomorrow, or, like, the next couple Packed. days, it's just, like, nonstop. Everybody's there. Everybody's going to be, like, on every single treadmill. It's just going to be annoying for about three weeks until it drops off. Well, that was my favorite. So now you got the people who are pissed off at the at the people saying they're going to the gym and working out, and then you got the pissed off people that are actually at the gym. Like I saw a good one today where a guy <laughs> was like, "All you two weakers, get the hell out of my way when I'm trying to work out." Well, this I, is this is more just with my whole like Facebook like annoyance with Facebook as a whole. Right? There's like the people that oh, I post about the stuff, it. but my big my big pet peeve is people that bitch about people posting about like things. <laughs> Like, I used to be. All right, everybody. Guys. We know it's snowing out. Settle down. Never right. mind. I didn't see anybody post about the snow, <laughs> but I see this person. Like maybe on their newsfeed, it's different than mine. <laughs> right? Yeah, that could definitely be. But it's always like, oh, I didn't know everybody was such a big politician. You're just nowadays. as you're just as bad as the people <laughs> right. you're complaining yeah. about. Yeah. <laughs> you're you're the same person. You're posting about the same exact thing they are. You're I did. A I life. did that one time, and I, somebody. I think it was Cortez. He called me out. I was like. I forgot exactly what it was, and he's like, "Oh, it was about politics," you know. And I was saying, you "Like, post, you, what do you know about?" No, politics? no. So I'm saying, people are out there, like, "Oh my God, people don't know shit about politics." And I go on there, I'm like, "Man, then you got the people complaining about people complaining about politics." <laughs> and, and then now like, you're and then the person. Now you're that person complaining <laughs> about the people complaining about it. I totally get it. You know, most of the, most of the stuff I like to do on Facebook is for a laugh. You know, yeah. it's not necessarily to be like, oh, <laughs> it's such a bad day. Make me well, feel you better. Have a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know, it's funny with the Bears. Every time a pitcher got pulled out of a game, 
they would play that song. Uh, but it didn't fun. matter because the guy could have went eight and a third and had like 15 strikeouts yeah. and they'd still play it. Well, the shape of that, the shape of that front office over at the Bears. <laughs> I, I was there one time. <laughs> Not that impressed. Uh, but hey. that again this year? What? The uh, North Bears thing? Do they even exist? I don't think so anymore. They just had a draft to get rid of all their players yeah. to all the remaining teams. But we're not here to talk but, about that. All right, let first. me ask you this. So New Year's resolutions have been around before Facebook. What did everyone – what do you just go around tell all your friends and be like – Maybe. Before Facebook, you just be like, dude, I'm, I'm going to the gym. It's all like water cooler talk, I would think. You I'm know? going to the gym. Like, like everyone, like, everyone you're going to see like at work, you know, or like you know, I'll be in the office tomorrow. I'm sure it would be like – just as a stupid, like, oh, hey, just I mean, something to talk about, something like that. You know? That must be like, the worst. That, yeah. I, thank God I'm not in office anymore. That office cooler talk, just, just that stupid ass, no one cares about small chat. Let me yeah. ask you something, That's Nipsey. horrible. What is the percentage of people that you like at your company? Excellent question. Uh, well, like, you know, I mean, there's a lot of people That's that work in my building. It. Here, how about this? So how many like, people would you go get a beer with? Ah, there you go. That's good. Actually, I would say... <laughs> We got good questions. <laughs> There's probably like, let's say in like accounting where I work, probably a hundred people. I would say probably about twenty people. Wow, really? that many? that's big. That's it's big. actually a pretty good young group. So oh, most, right. most of the uh, people are pretty usually like, oh yeah, bad. you know, like a couple of the guys actually moved into Bayonne that like from out of towners. Oh, Poor yeah. bastards. So they're not too they're not too bad. And like, yeah, you know, one guy's my go to like for all fantasy talk. So me and him are always bullshitting about the playoffs. You know, blah blah blah. Do they know, watch the show? Stuff. Ah, uh, you know, I tell them about it, but you know, they're right. all like everyone else. Fucking yeah, sluts! Yeah. That, that Walsh is getting angry. <laughs> <laughs> you freaking jerk offs! Oh, they all can't be Bobby O'Grady's. How about another one? Uh, got people wanting to get nicer. You know? Well, I just said that. I know. I? No, no, no. Oh, yeah. I know, I but but, my... but real people, like people out there in the everyday <laughs> world. <laughs> <laughs> not you, fake people. <laughs> what is that? Not you. <laughs> not, you're not gonna get nicer. We know this. You're right. You know, but there's people out there that think that they're going to be nicer people in 2014. I think well, you like, are what you are, right? The other thing with, like, Facebook, like, people post out stuff there, like, on, like, those stupid, like, e-cards and stuff like that. Yes. Some of the shit that people say is just, like, reprehensible. <laughs> like, <laughs> do explain. Reprehensible. Do there explain. was somebody, like, like, post about, like, if uh, Kanye West and Kim Kardashian were drowning in the ocean, which, what kind of sandwich would you make? Or you only, if you can only say one, what kind of sandwich would you make? I'm like, that's just really freaking mean. Like, like just to like treat another person like that. I would definitely get a chicken parm sandwich. Well, I, mean, <laughs> I had a feel, I had a delicious feel. You see what I did there, Manzo? <laughs> um, <laughs> keep shaking, man. Bernie Manzel whooping it this year. That that should be another one. I'm gonna pledge to Bernie Manzel more often in 2000. So, so why don't you make a resolution, boss? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I about, I'll, I'll make, I'll, I'll, I'm going to try to start writing for the uh, the site. I'll try to get all right. more. Let's go on. You Here's know what? I'm going to try. I'm going to try to finish school this year, like finally for real. Like done, done. Yeah, like done, done. Do you have your? But your, the thing is, I could finish it. Do you have your PhD yet or what? <laughs> no, I do not. I cannot start scalping people until until 2015. All right, all but right. I can finish up this next semester. But it's going to be a, a lot of work, you know. So. You know me. I'd like to avoid a lot of work at any cost possible. <laughs> it's been this long. What? No one else Who wants to rush now? <laughs> I can get a tax credit again next you year. Have to, if you I to learn some contract law. Come on. Yeah. Right. Now, no, nah, but the thing is, it looks like I'm going to finish up fall uh, 2014. So, All right. You know, that's still 2014. Yeah. Well, yeah, right. we, we got to. We gotta start making resolutions for the show. I think. Should we make oh, okay. a resolution for the show? We need more WNBA players on this show. No, we don't. No, That's not, uh, no, no, no. You don't want Rebecca Lobo here? No. How about we? Resu- well, let's do one we live get show more a hot month. Chicks on the show. Yes, yes, we should. That yeah. Now is that going to affect our relationships? With what? With who? Me? I was talking to Nipsey. Oh, well, no. I mean, it's just it's for the viewers. Are you having well, sex with them? <laughs> 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 Underneath the desk. That might that might affect. I don't something. know. Uh, yeah, I I'll guess... volunteer if you guys. Don't. <laughs> if no, you guys are out, you, you can have mine. Don't worry. Cammy, whatever your name is. That's oh. right. Cammy from Texas. They're very appreciative. Very appreciative. I like, she called it. She goes, "I got an award for 15 seconds of fame." <laughs> <laughs> you know who was very uh, appreciative? Patty Fowl was very yeah. appreciative. He. He was actually he was telling people that he uh, he received an award on the show. 
We need best best cameo for next year. Where we is need to it? Get actual uh, the fourteen azies or something. Like yeah, that. yeah. Or the sportsies. The well, you know, it's one of the things I alluded to in the uh, State of the Union address on fourteen sports dot com. Make sure you go check you can, that out. You can parse through the now, anger. Now, one of the one of the things that I was saying. <laughs> Man on fire. I'm gonna need a dictionary for that word. That bo- you know what? Man on fire might be one of the best. Cable rewatch movies of all time. That's great. I never watched it all the way through. No, oh, it was on today. Yeah, I didn't say awesome. It. It's a great movie. Um, Denzel, oh, but Denzel, Denzel's you good. know what? I did see that, and then he gets killed at the end because he don't takes ruin his it. Place. He, uh, he just said he didn't see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> uh, I'm walking off. <laughs> one of the one of the things that I was alluding to is you know 2013 was a, a big year for a trial and error year. You know, if you will. A lot yeah. of errors. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? But uh, yeah, I like Molly's too. I, I, we kind of talked about that before, but trying to do uh, more live stuff. Yeah, that going. definitely yeah, do I some more live. Happening. More blog, more live. We have the Olympics coming up in Sochi. Sochi. Sochi? Oh, we should have a... We should get a torch. Something's going to get bombed. <laughs> Did you see we'll, that? We'll give it to Captain Bayonne. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we'll start him. We'll start him up a chances, and we'll beat him down at the rock. <laughs> and he'll run. <laughs> a bar. How about we do a bar crawl tor- torch bar crawl? How about some Olympics? That's it's the Winter Olympics. Are it's tough. a lot easier to do a bar crawl. Yeah. What, you don't want to do the javelin toss. Remember the uh, the whistle that we had. That yeah. we used to do the bar crawl. People love that shit. Uh, what was that? Day before Thanksgiving? Yes, Thanksgiving. That evening. was always fun. The sangria chug. Walsh always fell God, asleep in the on Broadway. I didn't always. <laughs> I did it one time. <laughs> you got picked up on Ambo, right? No. Is that your New Year's resolution? <laughs> not to not sleep on Broadway. <laughs> I don't really go out anymore. If I if I ever go out, it's to get a six pack and bring it home. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, I know. Yeah, right. It's it's a put blast. his Aaron Rodgers jersey on. <laughs> <laughs> no, let, stay in. Let Oates <laughs> have her way. <laughs> I stay in and watch some GIS of the best mustaches of 2013. <laughs> on ne- what is that? Next Saturday. Next Saturday we will be out at the Vic. Uh, we're gonna be doing a live show out there. No one knows about this place. I know. They will. They will. Yeah, they'll talk it up. I drove yeah, by the other day. It there. looked absolutely dead, but you know, they you weren't, weren't open. And so. you weren't well. driving. <laughs> 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 on that note, we're out of here for the evening on the first show uh, in 2004. I resolved to be nicer. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to work. Uh, it's going to be bad radio. <laughs> bad ne- internet radio. <laughs> next week on the show, we're going to have Rebecca Lobo on yeah. for Matt Mulhern. I don't want Lobo. Why not? Are we she, really getting Rebecca Lobo? Yeah. She's a, Are you serious? Yeah. Joking. yeah. I just tweeted her. Wait, what? <laughs> no, 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 no. I have both shows. Uh, well, you can download on SoundCloud. We're going to be up on SoundCloud. That's right. We're working on that iTunes thing, so be patient, folks. We will be on there, but SoundCloud, SoundCloud is, will be on. is the way SoundCloud, for now. SoundCloud, 14A Sports. the way for Do now. It. All right. So on behalf of the rest of the team, I am Al Walsh. Tonight's that show was fun. Yes, it was good. I thought, I, at least at myself, I felt like I started slow because I'm still very tired. <laughs> I put a little hair on a dog up here. We, and, uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, made it work. You need, we got you no need. dog in this horse. <laughs> all right. For the first show of 2014, we're out of here. We'll see you all next weekend. Peace. Peace.